Tell me what is wrong with Jesse. Tell me what is wrong with Jesse. I think he's just crazy. Let's get into Breaking Bad. Tell me you're not loving what Breaking Bad is doing this season. The scenes are slow, melodic, everything is just like, every scene is just like, oh, it's so deep. What I'm loving is that Skyler is now on Walt's side. As I told you guys, as much as I hated Skyler in the beginning of the season because I felt that she was going to betray Walter, now, as you see, she's starting to be on his side and I love it. She's starting to see him for who he is. And you just gotta love last episode when he just looked up at her and just said, please don't make me have done all this for nothing. Remember that? So Walter isn't this crazy maniac as everyone is claiming him to be. And if you don't know already, I'm on Walter's side. I'm for this anti-hero, you know, Walter White. I want to see him win. I don't know what they're going to do at the end, but I want to see him win. One of the craziest moments in this episode was Walter's confession tape. You saw him, you think he's going to confess, and then when they played, you see Hank walk in, standing in front of his uh, crappy wife, and he sees the uh, confession Walter White shares what his plot is going to be against Hank, that he's going to frame Hank. Um, is this bad or good? You know what? I really don't care. I mean, I'm for Walter White, and I think what he's trying to do is just set Hank straight. You know what? I don't give a crap about Hank, because Hank, I look at it like this. If someone in your family member, look, I know Walt is doing some crazy stuff, right? I get it, right? We're not for someone selling drugs and all that stuff, right? But we're just taking the show for what it is. If you found out that someone within your family was, you know, selling drugs and you didn't know about it, right? Would you completely turn against them? Wouldn't there be some kind of emotion involved? I mean, I get it, it's crazy, but it's still the person, still who they are to you. So I don't know if you'd get so crazy. But I do think Hank is going ballistic because of the connection, kind of like Walter's been working him the whole time. I think he has an emotional attachment because of his job, right? So I see that's why Hank is going crazy. Walter against Hank, I'm for Walter, whatever Hank, whatever happens. Who are you going for? Tell me in the comments below. Are you for Walter? Are you for Hank? Who do you want to win this? Now, as far as Jesse, I think Jesse is losing it. We saw what happened at the end. Now, I was confused myself about what, what Jesse was doing. Um, why he freaked out like that. If you saw, right, when Saul told him, all right, it's time to change your identity, he was going to get picked up, and then he just started freaking out, looking at the cigarettes. Now, I think this was a little bit confusing. Now, directors made it look like as if there was this grand setup. I don't know yet. We'll find out. I mean, I don't really know. It, it appeared as if he was being set up, and we'll find out why he was freaking out. But what I think just happened was he just remembered the rice and cigarette, remember everything that happened with Brock, and he just sort of just lost it again, as Jesse always does. He just remembered everything went crazy, and then he went and started pouring the gasoline on, you know, on Walter's house, and I don't know what's going to happen. I think Jesse is a loose cannon. People say Walter is a loose cannon. I think Jesse is kind of nuts, man. He needs to get his, his shit together, man. I, don't, I feel like Jesse, you know, he's got to pick a path, man. Bro, you want to go down this path, you went down this path, be a man, deal with it, deal with it, and that's it. You don't want to be in it, don't be in it. Say goodbye, but it's like he's confused, he's playing both sides of the fence, he's so emotional, and it's like he's not taking a stance. I feel like he's just holding Walter down. Some might say Walter's holding Jesse down, but you know what, Jesse's not tied to this, bro. You did this, own up to it. I love Jesse, though, but it's just, it, it, just to... To talk about and judge him as a character, I just feel like he's really, really confused and he needs to ground himself a bit. The one other moment that we need to talk about is what Jesse said to Walter when they met up in the desert, right? And Walter told him, I think it's time for you to get out of town, you know, create your new identity, just go somewhere. Do you guys think Walter was sincere about that? Tell me in the comments. I think Walter was sincere, but Jesse, you know, I love the emotion when Jesse was just like, you know, he just stood back and it was like he's almost tearing. I mean, Jesse does some such dramatic stuff in the show. It just blows me away, man. If you're like me, you know, you're a man, but you cry. And you're like, ah, oh, Jesse. You know, it's just, but anyway. And he tells him, look, stop working me. You know, for once, ask me for a favor. What do you guys think about that? Who's right, who's wrong? I mean, was Walter, is he really working Jesse? You know, I don't, I don't, I, and then he goes and hugs him. Remember that? I, I just, I don't think Walter works Jesse, man. I don't think he works him. Ah, he might actually, but you know, I I think there's still this bond between him and Jesse, and I feel like Jesse just doesn't just. I feel like that bond has just been it kind of got corroded. It's there, but it just got covered with all the mess that they've been doing. Jesse's still at heart. I guess all this is like a blur to him, so he kind of sees Walter as wow, is he working me? You know, he's always trying to get what he wants in a way, which he sort of is. I mean, but Jesse's got to remember he was a partner in all this, right? So I don't know, whose side are you on with this? So that was definitely one of the craziest moments to me. The winner for this episode, I think, the one who won, was definitely uh, Walter. 
um, what he did to Hank with that confession, how he spoke with Jesse and gave him a hug. He was definitely the winner of this episode. Uh, as far as the loser of this episode, um, I think it was Saul. You know, he. I think the one who lost this episode, I'm stuck in between Jesse and Saul, but I'm going with Saul because of the breakdown he got at the end. It almost got beat down, and, you know, Jesse... Uh, you know, remembered everything and kind of like, you know, put the gun in his face and he's the one who lost this episode to me. The OMG moment, the top moment in this episode was Jesse's breakdown when he was talking to Walter and he just said, stop, why are you always working me? He broke down with tears. That was the top highlight moment in the episode. What do you think? Who won this episode? Who lost this episode? Tell me what your favorite moment was in the comments below. I look forward to talking to you for the rest of the Breaking Bad season. Oh man, just watch this with me and come here and tell me what you think. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.